Yeah. I'd like to call the meeting to order. <clears throat> Please call the roll. Here. 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 Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. <clears throat> the notice requirements of the open public meeting law for this meeting have been satisfied. A copy of the notice having been sent to the Asbury Park Press, the coaster, and filed in the office of the township clerk on July 25th, 2018. Emergency notice. There is an emergency exit to the courtroom doors and two exits in the rear of the room. No smoking, please. Board policy. No new cases started after 11 p.m. No new testimony taken after 11.30. In addition, the applicant will be limited to 45 minutes of testimony. Notice, all meet meetings will be video and audio taped and shown on the Township of Ocean's Community Cable Channel 22, on Verizon Fios Channel 77, on Cablevision. All cell phones must be turned off. If you need to make a call, please make your call outside the meeting room. Carried cases to January 17th, 2019. Orrin Linder, Lot 40.03, Lot 3, 608 Deal Road, Ocean. Jack Franco, Block 8, Lot 11.01, 33 Old Farm Road, Oakhurst. 485 South Edgemere Drive, LLC, Block 76, Lot 5, 485 Edgemere Ev South Edgemere Drive, West Allenhurst. Morris Dweck, Block 43, Lots 1 and 2. 300 Parker Avenue, Deal Park. <clears throat> I'm going to read some other cancellations tonight. Um, these are carried cases to 1213. Case number one, Maverick Nunez Valles, Block 38, Lot 117, 149 Bound Road, Wayside, R2. It's an application to keep an existing pool surround. Fence, retaining walls, driveway variances, side yard setback under minimum. Change grade, maximum driveway over, over maximum. In the front yard, combined with fence, wall height, over maximum, and rear yard setback. That'll be 12-13. Case number two is carried to 12-13. David Abadi, block nine, lot 16, 60 Norwood Avenue, Oakhurst, zone R1. Case number three is carried to 12-13. Abraham and Yvette Hittery, block 22, lot 101, 10 Portage Path, Deal Park, Zone R2. Again, that's 1213. Case number four carried to 1213. Fahar and Rebecca Salome. Block 22, lot 44.02. 249 Overlook Avenue, Oakhurst. Zone R4. Case number five, Bevan Irvin. Block 117, lot 3. 1707 Sunset Avenue, Wanamassa. Zone R6 carried to 1213. Case number seven carried to 11719 Scott and Cindy Van Bevel block 182 lot 46 19 Fieldstone Lane Wayside. If anybody's here for any of those cases, they're carried. So now we'll go back to resolutions. Okay, I think we need to swear in the swear in the two the upgraded member and the uh, new member. So gentlemen, do you have your the, the oath in front of you? I do. No? You do? Oh, okay. So, um, <coughs> David Fisher is being appointed as what? He is alternate four. Okay, and our old alternate four, Kevin, is now moving up to alternate three. <laughs> and they'll be able to vote tonight because... It's one So, it's, 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 it's an upward move. So, gentlemen, if you, just, if you just raise your right hand and read what's there out loud, you can do it together. Go ahead. I, Kevin Snow, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people. I do further solemnly swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties of the position of alternate number three, a member of the Township of Ocean Board of Adjustment. 
according to the best of my ability, so help me God. Regulation, <coughs> you guys will just sign it and pass it down. I'll fix my notary signature. Thank you. Can I continue? <laughs> I do have active board members. You may okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, now we're going to do resolutions and memorializations. Um, they're listed on the board, hoping that no one would like me to read all of them. Um, let me see. I think I can read. I think I'm going to read the first three. We can offer them all together, and then I'll do uh, Burke separate. Okay. Okay. So the first one is Bartholomew and Jennifer Healy, Sorry. Block 77, Lot 3, 111, Bendemere Avenue, Wanna Massive Bulk Variance Approval. Um, Polo and Daniello Dos Santos, Block 111, Lot 18, 1300, Updike Avenue, Wanna Massive Bulk Approval. And Abraham and Naomi Sinerich, Block 12.04, Lot 7, 277, Lawrence Avenue, Oakhurst. Someone please offer? I offer. Second. Rachel, please call the roll. Okay. Mr. Yes. 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 Which brings me to uh, Burke Contracting Block 142, Lots 40, 40.01, and 46. 3602 Sunset Avenue, 1001 Hopewell Avenue, Ocean. Preliminary site and final site plan, conditional use variants, no, bulk no, no. variants. We're not We're doing not... the preliminary and final Right, right, right. Oh, okay. I'm getting it. Cross that one out. <laughs> so the preliminary site plan has been pulled until 1213. We're not going to vote on the preliminary site plan. Just the conditional use variants and the bulk variants, correct? Correct. Someone please offer? I'll offer. Second? I can't. Second. Second. Mr. Van Wagner. Yes. 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 Okay. Which brings us to case number six. <coughs> David Nostrand, Block 120, Lot 12, 1411 Camp Avenue, Wanamassa Zone R6. This is an application to keep a covered front porch, front stoop, and rear deck with variances for front yard setback under minimum, side yard setback under minimum. Come on up. Rachel, please mark the packet. Okay. <clears throat> Reports, please. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll read it because it's so short. The applicant is requesting to maintain an existing covered front porch and front stoop and to maintain an existing rear deck. The site is a 50 by 100 foot deep interior lot that contains two dwellings. The primary dwelling, the subject of this application, is located towards the front of the site and the secondary dwelling is located to the rear of the site. The secondary dwelling received use variance approval in 1999. There are variances for front yard setback, 30 feet required. The front porch exists at 17.5 feet, and the stoop is 12 feet, which extends the front yard setback a little bit further. Minimum side yard setback, 5 feet required. 3.5 exists to the house, and 3.5 is proposed to the front porch. Minimum side yard setback for the accessory structure, 10 feet is required. 0.3 feet exists to the deck. The improvements to the front porch and stoop appear to be significant improvements to the site. While the stoop extends, the front setback of the building does not have a substantive impact with regard to light, air, and open space. I have some concern regarding the 0.3 foot setback of the existing deck at the rear of the building, which was constructed without permits by a prior owner. However, it is situated directly adjacent to a six foot high solid fence, which reduces the impact on the adjacent property. In addition, the applicant has significantly reduced the area of the deck from 576 square feet to 165 square feet. No engineering issues, Mr. Chairman. Okay. No. Why is Mr. Nostrand, please raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Okay, state your name and address. David Nostrand, 1411 Camp Avenue, Ocean, New Jersey. Okay, tell us what you're going to do, please. Um, just basically keep the existing front porch. Okay. Uh, the stoop yeah. and the, yeah. I cut back yeah. the yeah. deck yeah. quite a bit. Right. Yeah. And the deck is, the, the fence is, uh, fence borders the deck? Correct. Yeah. Okay. How much did you cut the deck back? Uh, I covered the entire backyard and I cut it back to approximately... About 400 square feet he cut back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's okay, right? Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, I looked at the Google shot of the house. It was before you did improvements to the front porch. 
and the difference is is dramatic. This looks much much better. Okay. Yeah. Any questions from the board? Anyone here from the public to be heard? Make motion. A motion to close the public. Second. Rachel, please hold the roll. Approved. We don't have to make it look alike because it's all done. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Action. All for a positive resolution. Second. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please see see Rachel. Call Rachel tomorrow. Approve. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Next case is case number eight, Chris Giberson. Giberson, yes. Block 175, lot 14, 18 Middlebrook Drive, Wayside. Uh, this is an application to remove and replace a driveway with a variance for side yard setback under minimum. Rachel, please mark the packet. Okay. Jim, would you like to give a report? Jim. So Mark and I were discussing the last application. That's okay. Um, this is Giberson? Yes. <clears throat> I'll, I'll just summarize. He, what he wants to do is expand his driveway because it was way too narrow and it was uh, deteriorating. And actually, I think it makes him a situation much better. No engineering issues? Other than, I, I just said that uh, any, any approval should be conditioned on uh, any broken or deteriorated apron area. And or adjacent curbs walks within the right of way should be repaired for the township engineer. I only said that because the driveway is substantially undermined by the water getting under it. Well, it, it could be the apron too, so if you get there and it's got to be repaired, that doesn't cave also. Okay. okay. Mr. Giberson, please raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, hold truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Okay, please state your name and address for the record. Chris Giberson, 18 Middlebrook Drive. Township. Sorry, I mispronounced your name. Oh, it's okay. Um, okay, can you tell us what you're going to do? I was going to uh, widen the driveway. In a brand new driveway, uh, right now it's eight feet wide. I'm going to expand it to ten feet to uh, to fit the apron. Okay, it looks like it's in pretty. Yeah, bad, this guy is real bad shape. This guy's got setback issues now, but a foot either side. Well, like Jim he's said, actually he's he's like expanding it towards the interior of the lot, so he's not right. even changing the three foot setback. Okay, but no, he is. He is. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, but it oh, okay. it, it it's kind of makes it centered on the apron. Yeah. So it, it's probably oh, okay. fine. It's going to be a uh, paved driveway or a pavers uh, or paved, paved driveway. Paved driveway. Okay. And actually, when you look at the lawn, his lawn runs right into the property, the lawn, the next adjacent property. You right. can't tell where the property line is. Okay. Okay. Can I make Any questions motion? from the bo board? My only question is, can I make a motion for a positive resolution? Well, <laughs> wait a minute. We've got to close the public hearing for hey. <laughs> Anyone from the public to be heard? I like to paste them. <laughs> um, make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. <laughs> Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Action. I'll move for a positive resolution. Second. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call Rachel tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next case is case number nine. Karen Polish, block 110, lot 25, 1302 Stewart Avenue, Wanamassa. This is an application to reconstruct a covered front porch. And keep a shed with variances for front yard setback under minimum, side yard setback under minimum. Um, Rachel, please mark the packet. Yeah, what about, we need to see the service. You have the certified mailings. You have all the white slips stamped by the post office. Everything, you, everything is good? Okay, so service is now in order. We, we were waiting for some more. Okay, we're good on that. I just want to check. Perfect. <coughs> now, Jim, report. Are we swearing the witness? I may have Not overstepped you. First to report, report the, the packet. Okay, the officer is requesting. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, the applicant's requesting to install a permanent roof over an existing porch, replacing a railing on the porch and maintain an existing shed that does not meet the required five foot side yard setback. 4.5 feet exists. With regard to the improvements to the porch, I have no significant concerns. The permanent roof will be an aesthetic improvement and the replacement of the railing is both an aesthetic and potentially a safety improvement. With regard to the shed, due to the minimal deviation, I have no concerns leaving the shed with a four feet, six inch setback, provided the condition of the approval is that any replacement shed be located to required five feet from the side property line. Ms. Paul, please raise your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Please state your name and address. My name is Karen Polish, and uh, my address is 1302 Stewart Avenue, Ocean. Okay, can you please tell us what you're about to do? Um, I would like to replace the tarp metal bar roof on my porch with um, a more permanent struck, uh, you know, roof. And um, I have a shed in the backyard that I, I'm not sure when it was installed, but it was before I moved in. I'd like to keep it there. Okay. Will the improvement to the porch match the rest of the house? Yes. Okay. So it, it it's you replace. It'll look good. It'll look good. It'll yeah. look good. Yeah. Look good. Okay. I don't have any more questions. Anyway, do something. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> me, me too. Will the color of the roof be the same as the? <laughs> I already Actually, said that. Actually, once I get the porch, I would like to redo the roof, and that would be the same color so as the roof to match. Okay. That's why I want to do the porch roof first. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't. Well, eventually, it'll match. Yeah. Okay. Good. Anybody from the board have any questions? New railings. Yes. Wood or? Or vinyl wood, yeah. Yeah, the black metal doesn't uh, go. last well in weather, you know, yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Anybody from the public here to be heard? <laughs> Would you like to say something, sweetheart? Thank you. <laughs> 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 oh, <thanks. laughs> I'll close the public hearing. <laughs> Can I have a second? second. <laughs> Rachel, please call the roll. <laughs> Yes. Um, yes. 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 Action. All for a positive resolution. Second. Rachel, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call Rachel tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, board members. Thank you, professionals.